This video is about summary tasks. So a summary task is just a way to group different tasks in your project. Um, I've got a few tasks here that could go with a designing a new app um, project. So you'd gather user requirements, you'd research the competition, and those two items together, you might think of those as your planning phase of the project. So I can document that in Microsoft Project by inserting a new task right above the task that I want to be included in my um, summary task. And I'll go ahead and give this the name planning. So this is the planning phase. You do not need to fill in the duration of a summary task because it'll include the durations of whatever's below it. So I, whatever I want to be included in this planning phase, I will just indent those tasks right below the planning phase. I notice that my duration, five days, is just the gather user requirement two days plus the research competition three days added together. And I will see my summary tasks showing up in bold and on the Gantt chart it's um, designated with a, a different uh, look and feel. So let's try another summary task. I'm going to insert another blank task here. My designing the user interface and designing the system, I'll call that the design phase. And anything, right now it's indenting that, thinking that it's part of the planning phase, so I'm going to outdent it to make sure it's back, um, back aligned with the left side and I'll take my two design tasks and indent those and those become part of that design phase or the the summary task. So they each take two days, each of those tasks, and so my summary task takes four days. In fact, you might want a summary of the entire project and you could find that if you go to the format tab under your Gantt chart tools and go ahead and put a check mark in project summary task and now notice we've got a summary task that includes encompasses the entire project and we can very easily say that the, see that this project takes 14 days here's our start date and our end date and we can see it on our Gantt chart 